Good morning and welcome back to the apocalypse. Um, we're back in Greenport. And I was looking at the map just now, trying to see where I want to go to next. And I think I want to try to get up um, past the restaurant here on the side towards the the shoreline and then just push up um, near the shoreline towards the the factories that are there on the map. Now I'm not sure if I can actually squeeze in here with my car. You know, my little, little safety retreat option. Did I just Austin pause myself in here? No. Okay, I think I need to find a different way to get back later on, but that's fine. Um, I think pushing along the beach is kind of kind of convenient because then you have one side um, blocked off where zombies cannot approach you. Yeah, you know what? After driving through this. This, this this is not surprising anymore. As uh, could have been me trying to park this thing. Can I get past this. Yeah. And if you keep in a close eye on my hotbar, you might have seen that I have the MP5 equipped down there. Because I was in the mood for a little bit of pew pew. Alrighty, you know, all my, my good intentions of, yeah, if a zombie trips, if a runner trips, just let them get back up, don't get too close, and then immediately um, went out the window there and I immediately started smashing. Right, there's two things that surprise me right now. The sound range. How many zombies that are coming from really far away. But also the weapon range. I think the big advantage here as opposed to using shotguns is you can engage at this long range. And any runners you see no, running obviously from really far away and can take uh, appropriate action. Mm. Big downside is though, we only have two magazines for the MP5. to open these boxes. But as long as we kind of take these kind of engagements, right? One big group that we can take with the MP5 and then um, do the cleanup with the regular pistol. That should get us through this relatively quickly. I was very concerned how much it came out of the woods there. So 
normally I would say, oh, it's just two guys. We can probably just go smash them. But I kind of want to shoot them just to get any, any other stragglers out of the woods here. So just taking a quick look because I saw somebody um no many of these zombies had weapons on their backs. And just in case if there's anything interesting there, doesn't look like it. I'm really surprised, um from how far away they come in here. Just keeping keeping your head on the lookout. For anything coming out of the trees. I also feel like um, even that one level of aiming, like last time we were using any weapons um, back at the Gigamart, we were still aiming level 5, now we're aiming level 6. And I feel like that one level made a lot of difference. I don't know. Um, one other thing I was thinking about as I see here, the, the diecast cars. Maybe at some point I should start collecting these. I mean, that's that's the point of having a mod for collectibles in the game, right? To have something else to do in the late game. And as silly as that sounds, collecting toy cars could be interesting. I say that as I completely ignore it and don't pick it up. Yeah, I'm not 100% not sure yet. Well, I would have to build a some sort of Brian car collection museum or something back at base. I guess the question is what do you what do you do first? Do you start collecting and then build the place for it or do you build the place for it and then start filling it up? So yeah, um, on the map I saw this series of warehouses, which is kind of the goal of my little expedition here today. I think we can pull up a little bit more. Also, I'm on day four of my cabbage diet. Please send help. Why don't I just squeeze the trigger and let him have it? I do I do prefer the single target firing. Like you gain a little bit of accuracy there.
I'm a Okay, only lo reloaded eight shots. We're already out of bullets again. Well, no, I'm not. He seems to chill. Just hanging out by the water. That's an arm. I thought that was a weapon. Well, you know, depending on your training, your arm is your weapon. So window breaking, I'm assuming like in the back of this little thing or so. Ooh, I see some cars. Also we had this weird um harbor docks thing that we've seen from day one where I was always wondering what the hell kind of shape is that? And it's just that. It's a weird kinda of, kinda of shape. Can we get some eyes behind this building? I hate, I don't like this. Like I need to be way too close to the building so the building disappears, but then I feel like I'm too close to the corner and any kind of surprise zombie visits. Ruin things for me. Yeah, that's the thing. With only two magazines here, golden rule is reload whenever you can. Or reload your spare magazines whenever you have an opportunity. That's like definitely two or three guys on the on the gates there. I didn't see that spear. Can't make me. I gotta say though, MP5, so far my favorite of the weapons we used. Although, I mean, there was something about the battle rifle that we used when we uh, attacked Rabbit Hash. Of the, that was even more absurd range. Uh, I think we're out. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Just a second.
Oh, it's that, that special zombie again. I think we saw that guy before, didn't we? The Gila? It's kind of a, I think, a Tarkov reference. So I've been told. I've never played that game, so uh, you yeah. know. I believe what I've been told there. Why are you attacking that barrel? That's kind of weird. Like you, zombies shouldn't be attacking barrels that are just standing around. Oh, those are the metal rain collector barrels. We might actually pick one of those up. Still, we have two of those at base. But long term, I wouldn't mind actually replacing all the the wooden barrels with metal barrels, just for more capacity. Although the only time where the capacity really matters is going through winter, where you don't have new rainfall for a long time. And we're kind of getting, well, ish to the tail end of winter anyway. Kinda, kinda almost sad here that the MP5 is taking that much durability damage already, and we, I think we have one spare MP5 back at base. So we're really limited with with the weapons there. Okay, I think I want to check out what's um, here on the docks. That's a nice, nice little mansion house. I hope we're not pulling too much because I'm about to go into a no way out um, situation here. Okay, it seems like every every dog has one of those metal barrels. Gotta check how much um, storage capacity we have left on the on the car. To reload. I really do like the sound design with the, um, like you hear the the casings dropping on that wood flooring below me. Although, obviously, you know, with the snow, it shouldn't make that, that wood sound, but... That's probably uh, requesting too much, too much detail. I think we're already out of bullets again. One more, 
And then let's head out, check out that little um, hut at the end of the pier. My guess is it's just going to be fishing stuff, yeah. Which, yeah, I'll take. I'll still take the tackle. So it's a consumable. It's gonna run out sooner or later. And yeah, I don't think um, boxes out in the wild can ever have loot because they're technically not in the room. So on the, there's no no loot table definition or whatever it's called. This is a fancy, fancy mansion here. Kind of gated in, but also um, has an opening in the north side of the gate, of the fence. It's not really a safe house quality. Well, it's better than the safe house we have right now. I don't want to move. Too big of a chance of there being being enemies nearby. Right, it's getting late in the day, but I'm really um, intrigued by this big warehouse here. Did I, did I move too quickly? Did I eat the whole carriage? I did. I so, let me just grab some more ammo. Reloading thing. It's all fishing stuff. But my excitement for this um, warehouse <laughs> went took a real quick nose dive there. Really, all gonna be fishing stuff. 
how much more fishing tackle do I need? Will I continue this while tired? Ah, come on, we can we can have a little little energy drink. Turn on the, the flashlight. Bunch of um, loot that's typical for those kind of containers. I was not. Not sure what I was going for there. Alright, let's have a big run upstairs. Just toys. But I was not expecting that. That's the upstairs. Hmm. I keep that in mind, you know, maybe maybe we come in here um, in a few days and pick up all the the toy cars, start collecting that stuff, and I assume this is another cleaning cabinet here. Yeah. Office cubicle on both sides. Okay, that's a very large um, warehouse building with very disappointing loot. Un unless you're looking for fishing stuff. You know, if you're looking for fishing stuff, congratulations! You found all the fishing stuff you could ever need. But you know what, if I already gobbled it down an energy drink, we might as well use that energy to do a little bit exploring here. There's a big group beyond that fence. Don't necessarily want to engage today here. So the only entrance is on that side. Okay. Make sure that big group on the road is not bothered by what I'm doing here. Mostly no longer looting duct tape, but if it's two rolls of duct tape, that's a deal, right? Can't just ignore that. I might just smash this in here.
that's a shrouded little place here. That's probably one of those rare situations where that um, building spawn fix mod might have been useful. The whole thing with zombies only spawn and once you see the inside of a building from within 10 tiles, so since all doors are closed, these zombies in here didn't exist until I smashed, it, smashed in this door. Which, you know, seems a little bit counterintuitive, you think, with all the, the rockers we're making there. They would be coming to investigate. We have so many axes. Like, oh, it's an axe. I, I'm a lumberjack. I should pick up axes. And it's like, no. So many axes at base. Do I actually have a trolley? I think we do. I do. Let me actually get outside, make sure, yeah. I'm not sure how much sound it made. Like, it, it always feels like it should make a ton of, of noise, um, bashing, like, these stuff in. But apparently it does not. Grab some extra nails. We're about to leave anyway, okay. Well, we did get two extra batteries. I was hoping for some, some spare soda panels also, but that was not to be. Um, quick map check. So we're up here now. I think we're just gonna gonna drive here past and then down the, down the main road. Yeah, there's a bunch of zombies here and we'll probably drag them down a little bit, but we shouldn't drag them all the way down here. That's That's fine. Also, um, I was not really doing this kind of stuff. So we check this. I put, if I put it in the middle and I don't see it. Um, and we've been here-ish in that area, right, the other day. That's just the stage, that's just bathrooms. I don't know what that was. Making some notes here for, for my future self. Um, because for a while, this is going to be the last episode I'm recording. Uh, if you've seen my last and latest channel update, I'm well at this point, by the way, the time you're seeing this, I hopefully have completed my move and I'm, I'm settled in. So this is basically the last video of the backlog that I'm pre-recording. Um, but if not, well, there's one more episode of Zero Show Hero coming up tomorrow. And then either I'm settled in and um, recording fresh stuff uh, already, or there might be a little bit of a pause until I'm, I'm fully set up in my new place. Either way, um, yeah, we're heading back to base, well, to our temporary base. What is it's five days? I think we uh, on New Year's, right? We arrived here, so we still have plenty of time before we have to worry about the next helicopter event, giving us giving us a hard time. Yeah, that that roof storage is already pretty full. Um, Duct tape we brought, nails, and the rest is just my normal equipment. Okay. It sounds like somebody didn't turn off the engine. So yeah, um, we'll see 
how this series continues. Um, definitely keep an eye on any other announcement or, you know, stay in contact via Discord to see what the current state of things is. For now, though, for this character, I'm gonna munch down on as many cabbages I can, as I can get into me. Still have that scratch from, from smashing in that car window. Or that deep wound, rather. Um, it's really hard to maintain your weight on a pure cabbage diet. So... Oh, look. I'm actually surprised at how much progress we're making here. That um, I gotta say, I, I was worried modded maps very often have insane, insanely uh, inflated zombie uh, counts, but I think this this is really reasonable here in this little town. Uh, it's not too too empty. It's not basically all free loot. You have to fight for your stuff, and of course, you know, with lots of ammo and uh, good aiming skill, that was kind of a breeze today. But I'm kind of positive that we might just empty this whole town out of all the zombies. Especially if we keep shooting a little bit. Maybe stock up on 9mm ammo in the, in the police station. And yeah, maybe then actually stay in this town during the next helicopter and continue clearing. And then once everything is said and done without having that Oh, we need to get be out by the next helicopter. And that if that time pressure is off, that's not something I have to worry about. Then I can just stay here and then pick and choose what we bring back home. And we can, um, similar to what we did in Orchidwood, fill up our own car, fill up a second car, throw that on the trailer, and and then bring it back home. But that's something that um, future Survivor has to make up their mind about. I'm going to sign off here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.